Oh, ah, crap, it's already recording. Okay, so um, I actually recorded this response once before, and I was being very vague and not specific. So I'm going to break it down to this. Um, okay, so if I was piloting a grunt unit... I'm sorry, this is a video response to <laughs> uh, Ed's or Double O Gundam Review's Friday poll. What would you pilot? What mobile suit would you pilot? And he broke it down to two. Uh, a grunt unit, or, you know, like a mass produced unit or whatever. Uh, and the second part would be like a specialty unit, like a Gundam, mobile armor, things like that. Okay, so for my uh, grunt unit, I'd have to go with, um, if I could customize my own unit of an already made unit, like a custom unit, I'd probably go with like a, a sniper type custom unit, whether it's a gym or a, or a Garazulu, I'd really love a sniper type Garazulu or or even a a sniper Jagan, sniper type Jagan. Uh, the reason why I'm picking the Zulus and the the Geras and the Jagans because I, I think they're they're like the coolest looking forms of their originals, which is which goes back all the way to the Zaku and the Jims. Um, yeah, just uh, I'd probably like pick, a, uh, like, I'd probably pilot, like, a sniper-type, uh, you know, uh, a j sniper type Jagan custom or a sniper-type Gira the Zulu custom, you know, something like that, uh, just, just because, like, if I was in a war, you, and I'm, I'm basing this off of, like, when I play FPS games, like, first-person shooter games, if I was, you know, usually I go for, well, depending on the map, <laughs> um, I usually go for either a sniper type or a rush type. When I mean rush type, I usually when I usually pick like submachine guns and things like that. Um, when I'm really feeling like in the mood of concentrating and taking my time, I'd probably go for like a, a normal rifle. But that's only like less than half the time. It's usually either I'm rushing or I'm sniping. So that that's why I'm picking um, uh, a sniper type custom, you know, Jagan or a Gera Zulu. Uh, so that's my mass produced unit. If I were now a specialty unit, I, I, I would have to give two answers. I can't really decide on this one. Um, and this once again is also based off of like my FPS playing style. Um, for my specialty type, I would have to say, and because I researched it, I'd have to say, um, I would either pick the Strike Noir because of the amount of weapons it has and just the functionality. Tactically, it would be a a pretty awesome mobile suit it has like these grappling hooks that come from both hands and both feet uh, and I think one on the backpack which is really nice um, because if if he was getting ganged up on like maybe three or maybe four he could just stand on one leg um, shoot a grapple from his foot both hands and his backpack and grab like yeah like four mobile suits and just disable him right there on top of that he has this like full armament he has like dual pistols two different yeah, two different beam rifles, and he has the beam cannons on his wings, which he never used. I would have used them, uh, especially for long range. I'm pretty sure beam cannons are, like, long range weapons, so, yeah. And then just the two swords for close combat. So, tactically, I would love to use the Strike Noir, but if I were, you know, like I said, rushing, I would definitely, like, and this is why I said um, earlier, because I researched it, I would definitely go with the Keratim Saga. Because of all the different um, armaments it has, it has a carbine. It has, um, you know, the the actually it has four pistols and then the two submachine guns on the knees, <coughs> which is awesome. And like uh, I would have to say, it, it reminds me of of like Neo in the Matrix, the first movie when he just kind of went all out in that in the uh, lobby scene. We had like he had like M4 or maybe it was an M16 or something. He had like an M4. He had like different guns and everything that it reminds it just reminds me of that and then just you know when it comes to close combat i have the 2g and pistol twos which turns into axes um so yeah i would i would have to pick either the strike noir tactically the strike noir and the Keratum saga if i was you know if i felt like rushing into combat on top of that if i if i were in a, if i were rushing into combat like that you know, having a GN drive would be cool because um, they last longer. Um, I guess, I guess, and I think the only downside to that is I noticed that um, uh, the Gundams from Double O they don't have a very strong armor. It's called E Carbon. Uh, I think 
the most durable armor in Gundam history probably would have to be a uh, Gundanium alloy or Gundare. There's a different alloy in like the Universal Century that sounds the same. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's either Gundanium alloy that's the strongest in itself or uh, Gun Gundarium? Hold on one second. Yeah, it says Gundarium on, um, I'm looking up Gundam Wiki right now. Um, so yeah, that's, those are the two I'd probably use. Now, it was, <laughs> it was hard come choosing a mobile suit that had, that, um, didn't have Gundanium alloy, because I like, uh, you know, I like the usage of being durable, and at the same time, you're out in war, and you're just going going out and fighting you're getting shot at obviously you're gonna get shot at you know don't guarantee just because you have a, a mobile suit that you think you could use tactically and you can have an edge doesn't mean you're gonna get you're not gonna get hit at least once um so you know it's kind of kind of hard to decide but you know if if i was to go up against like a couple like like maybe a hand like a squad tactically like i tactically like i said i'd use strike noir and then if i felt like rushing in for an assault keratum saga um, and once again, for the grunt units, I'd have to go with like a sniper type of unit. And like, and like I mentioned, I wanted to custom it, you know, like a, a just a sniper type Jagan with, or a sniper type Garazulu, but at the same time have some backup weapons. So in case someone did find where I was, I could move. And if they were trying to close in on me, I could still attack. But I guess that wouldn't be necessary. If I was good enough with the sniper rifle, I'd probably own them with the sniper rifle, no matter how far or close they are. But yeah, those are my choices.